Bryant, aka GQ Smooth, and uh, I'm here to talk about old souls. Uh, to me, an old soul is a person that's uh, way ahead of his time or her time. Uh, a person that's very unique, original, laid back, down to earth, uh, sophisticated. Um, an old soul is a person that's a young person but acts old when it comes to the type of music she listens to or he listens to. Uh, it could be the way a person dresses. Uh, it could be uh, the way a person sees life in a more different perspective. Um, an old soul is a person that acts old. A person that's young but acts old when it comes to just life in general. Um, old souls are um, people that don't like to follow the crowd and old souls are people that don't like being around a lot of people, a crowd full of people. Um, old souls, like I said, see life in a more different perspective than most people. We're all about peace, we're all about love, tranquility, harmony, love. Um, we like listening to different types of music, mostly old music, such as old school, um, jazz, classical, uh, easy listening music, easy going music. Um, just the type of music that you see old folks listening to, but young folks are listening to it too. So when you see a young folk, a young person, that's let's say for example, uh, me. Um, I'm young, but I have an old soul. I have an old heart, which means I like doing things that you don't normally see someone my age do, such as jazz, such as just uh, sitting at home, writing poetry or reading a book. Now, don't get me wrong, I like doing things on the outdoors as well, but when you see someone, a young person, if you will, let's say a uh, random age, um, I don't know, 25. Now, if you see somebody that's 25 that's listening to jazz, um, wearing Kangos, Godfather hats, wearing Stacey Adams dress shoes, suits. I mean, you see young folks doing it, but I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that when you see somebody in their early 20s, middle 20s, doing things that you see someone in their late 40s or 50s doing, then you're an old soul. Because if you're young and doing things that old folks are doing, then Basically, you're an old soul. Um, me, for example, I've been an old soul since, <clears throat> um, actually since I was a kid. I've been an old soul. I've been an old soul since, I'd say, what, six, seven, eight? Basically, since I was a kid. And, um, and I noticed that I was an old soul, the way I dressed it, the way I talked, how responsible I was, how independent I was as a youngster. I was very independent. I was very <clears throat> um, laid back, the way I dressed, I had great posture, um, um, and I knew then, even as a teenager, I knew that um, I had an old soul. Because you, you don't really see, because when it comes to a youngster, when it comes to a kid, how many kids do you know that's listening to their mama's and papa's records? The Osley Brothers, Prince, 
Anita Baker, Whitney Houston, you know, just old school songs as a kid. Uh, I didn't understand why I was listening to them. I just loved the music. I loved the music, I loved the beat. So normally you see kids my age that's into cartoons, which I was into cartoons as a kid, but I was mostly into, you know, that type of music that my mama was listening to and my daddy was listening to. I was into things that 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 um, that people like. I was, let's say, for example, um, okay, uh, I say fifteen. I was doing things that you was you will see somebody in there like maybe eighteen, nineteen, and twenty is doing as far as like the music and 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 just being responsible and the way I dressed it the way I carried myself um, even as a youngster um, I hung around um, people that were twice my age as a youngster because I'm so fascinated about being around people that were twice my age. You know, I just love the advice. Uh, I, I love the advice that was given to me. Um, I just love, you know, the fact of being an old soul. You know, because, um, you know, when it comes to old soul, old soul comes with responsibility. You know what I mean? It comes with responsibility. It comes with maturity as well. Being an old soul. Responsibility and maturity as an old soul. And uh, and I'll be honest with you, I love being an old soul because in this day and age that we live in today, I would not want to be a new soul. Which means I don't abide by this new generation shit that we live in today when it comes to the music, when it comes to the way people dress, when it comes to the movies, when it comes to, you know, the way um, this new generation has been brought up, has been brainwashed by today's society when it comes to bullshit music, bullshit movies, bullshit the way people are dressing, just, just bullshit, new reality bullshit new generation bullshit that we live in today. I don't abide by it. I don't care for it. I'm gonna always live by old school. You know, the 80s era, the 90s era, the golden era, if you will. Um, I don't abide by the new generation that we live in today because it's so corrupted. It's so, it's just bullshit, full of bullshit ass people, fake ass people. Um, and so forth. Um, and also, when it comes to being an old soul, old souls are very, you know, misunderstood when it comes to the outer world, when it comes to the new generation that we live in today. Um, old souls, such as myself, I am an old soul. Uh, we're very misunderstood when it comes to the old souls of the world. We're very misunderstood because people don't understand us because we don't live by today's society and generation. <clears throat> you know, some people may call us boring. Some people may call us um, old fashioned. But I'd rather be old fashioned and I'd rather be boring than to be toxic, than to be wild and crazy. You know, with wildness, with craziness, with toxic, can get you killed on the streets. It can get you arrested. It can get you on drugs. All kind of shit comes with those words right there. So I would choose being boring and old fashioned over those three evil, deceitful words right there. You know what I mean? Um, Old souls um, were very unique, even though 
we're very misunderstood when it comes to people and, and the reason why we're misunderstood because people don't really understand us and I think that you know if people will take the time to get to know old souls they will pretty much like us for who we are and they will pretty, pretty much like our personality the way we see life in a more different perspective and how we're just kind gentle souls you know what I'm saying we just want peace within the world you know what I mean we want peace uh, we don't want evilness in the world you know what I mean we want peace we want love we want tranquility and harmony amongst people you know what I mean um, so when it comes to old souls I think we're just we're, we're, we're left out when it comes to certain people when it comes to you know a lot of people now, I'm not saying everyone, but when it comes to old souls, I think that we're just we're just left out. You know, people don't understand us. We're very misunderstood. But like I said, when it comes to old souls, there's good things about us. We're unique. We're original. We're laid back. We're down to earth. We don't like to follow the crowd. Um, we're very good people. We'll do anything for anybody. Um, we're good humanitarians when it comes to just people, not just elderly people, just people in general. You know what I mean? Uh, we're just different. And it's hard to be different. You know? Um, it's okay to be different. Dare to be different. You know what I mean? Um, so, I realized I was an old soul growing up because of the things that I was doing and the things that I was, the thing that, the things that I was uh, doing as far as, uh, I don't know, because it, it was like, you know, people my age were doing kid things. And while people my age were doing kid things, I was doing, grown-up things you know like just just doing just doing a bunch of things just being responsible and just you know doing things by myself just being responsible and you know like for example my first apartment I was uh, what 18 19 years old I was responsible enough to do that I felt responsible I was responsible I knew what I was doing I knew how to pay the rent I knew how to go out there and find my own apartment. I was responsible. You know, there's not a lot of people, a lot of youngins at that age that that aren't responsible, but there are some that are responsible. But I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that, you know, I've been an old soul my whole life. Since the day I came out of my mama's womb, you know, uh, I've been an old soul, you know what I mean? and. Um, I must say I'm proud of it. I like being an old soul because with being an old soul comes responsibility and maturity. You know what I mean? So, um, and when it comes to people having new souls in this new generation that we live in today, they're just not responsible. They're not mature. They're just full of shit and um, not responsible. I mean, you know, um, so, like I said, when it comes to old soul, old soul, it, it's all right to be an old soul. Um, you know, because um, I think that old souls are special people, very special in their own way. You know, everybody can't be the same in this world. You have old souls, you have new souls. But me personally, I would rather be an old soul than to be a new soul because like I said before I don't abide by the new generation that we live in today so I'd rather be an old soul live by old soul rules you know what I mean it's all about the 90s era the 80s era the golden era when it comes to me you know what I mean I still believe in the old romance I still believe in pulling out chairs you know what I mean um holding hands with my woman, pulling out a chair for my woman, kissing my woman on the forehead, 
uh, cooking for my woman, having candlelight dinners with the person that I'm with, you know, things that people don't usually do anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, you rarely see that in this generation that we live in today. I mean, you, you see it, but you rarely see it. You know what I mean? Um, so, um, and when it comes to old souls, you know, we like jazz. We like easy listening music. We like the type of music that you see old folks listening to. You know, like 50s type music, 60s type music, 70s type music. You know, just old school classical music. Sitting down, chilling, listening to some good old jazz, some R&B old school and relaxing and enjoying life some people may find what old souls do are boring but like i said 10 minutes ago i'd rather be boring and old-fashioned than to be crazy wild you know what i mean and out of control you know so um it's hard to be an old soul for all the old souls out there you know um Whatever you want to do with your life, you know, when it comes to music or whatever you want to do, what type of music you listen to, that's your business. What type of movies you like looking at, that's your business. You know what I mean? Um, you know, like me, for example, I like listening to jazz. I like listening to, you know, 50s type music, 60s, 70s. I like uh, looking at mysteries. Um, I like looking at old school type movies, um, like back in the day movies from the 50s, from the 60s, from the 70s, from the 40s, from the 30s. <laughs> you know, I like, I like, I like stuff like that. You know, you rarely see people liking those type of movies from way back in the day and the music from way back in the day. But when it comes to uh, when it comes to young people uh, that likes to uh, watch movies from back in the day, that far from back in the day, when it comes to movies and music and etc, you have an old soul. When it comes to her, him, whatever, if you're young, and you're into that that type of music and those type of movies or whatever, you have an old soul because you really see people that young that's into that type of stuff when it comes to the music and the movies. You know what I mean? So when it comes to an old soul, old souls are special people. You know what I mean? So, and I think old souls are gifted. That's what I think. I think old souls are gifted. So um, this isn't going to be a long video about old souls. I just wanted to express how I feel about old souls. Um, and I just happen to be an old soul myself. So, um, so like I said, to all the old souls out there, keep on being an old soul. And um, that's all I got to say. So this is Keith Bryant, and I'm here to say peace, love, and harmony. Soul 
drink, huh? You got another load on the soul drain, huh? On the soul drain, huh? On the soul drain, huh? You got another load on the soul drain, huh? The girls are ready for a year, got me looking rough, huh? Don't let my nose touch the ground while I'm getting rough. Yeah, I can't believe my lying eyes, I ain't seen enough, huh? And baby brother, face a murder, got him looking stuck. Damn, mama, she ain't tears, thinking she the one to blame. Please don't let me be 